Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look at this big wax covered bottle. I hate wax. <laughs> I hate it. I freaking hate it. They've got somebody standing at the end of the bottling line and dip each one of these bottles into some kind of wax container to charge you more money. Basically, that's how I feel about it. Uh, it serves the beer no purpose whatsoever. The beer is on a carbonation if it's capped right. So, they do this to charge you more money. That's the bottom line. Uh, this was sent to me by Kyle, and he sent a little note here. He doesn't give me a lot of information. It says, Smog City 2015. So this is a 2015 edition. So uh, we're here in the uh, first day of November. So I pretty much, unless they did it in December of 2015, uh, this is two years in the bottom. And he tells me it was a $15 bottle of beer on site, and it sold out. And, of course, being a 2015 edition, uh, they're gone. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's none available. Uh, you might get lucky to find one, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, and I've seen newer versions of this beer, and it's a little bit bigger ABV. Uh, what rate beer has on this one is a 14.10%. 14 uh, percenter. This is a 13 and a half percenter. Uh, so, uh, Kyle, thanks a bunch for uh, for sending this to me. I feel pretty sure that it probably came out of your private collection or your cellar. Uh, and I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, don't think I've had anything from this brewery, Smog City. They're out of California. So, uh, and this is considered an English barley wine. Uh, and it does have some information on it. Uh, on the side here, it said this is bottle number 1703, 1703, the 1703rd bottle, and it was bottled on March of 2015. So if they're, bought, if they're doing these beers and bottle them in March, this is actually 2015, 2016, 2017, it's two and a half years old. So, uh, and this one says right here, alcohol is 13.5%, limited release. Uh, like I said, I don't think I've had anything from this brewery before. So this will be the first one that we've sampled from Smog City, as far as I can recall. Uh, commercial description on this beer, I have none. And other than what I read you that Kyle sent me on it, that's all we have on it. English style barley wine, and it does have a barrel collection here, so I'm thinking it's probably a uh, some kind of bourbon barrel, at least barrel age if it's not bourbon barrel. And this wax looks very, very thick, guys. So bear with me here for a second. Let me try to carve some of this silly ass wax off of it that I hate. I still got a gouge in my finger from the last wax bottle that hasn't healed up completely. So I'm going to try to keep my fingers away from that and see if we can carve enough of this silly ash wax off to uh, at least get it opened up and get it into the glass. Did I tell you I wasn't a fan of wax? I think I did. So, with that being said, let's see what we can uh, do with this uh, Wax is for candles, as far as I'm concerned, guys, not for beer. And it's going to come off in little bitty pieces. Why would you do that? Why would you put wax on a beer? Knowing it's going to take you ten, ten minutes to get into it. Kind of chaps my ass a little bit. Yep. 
that and white britches, both of them cap my ass. So, uh, that being said, I'm not having a whole lot of success taking this off in big pieces, guys. This is, this is asinine. Whoever the first person was that bit wax on the bottle of beer, hope karma took care of that. Wax on a bottle of beer serves absolutely no purpose other than letting them charge you more money, guys. You'll never convince me of anything else. All right, let's see if we can get this thing open. Nice little hiss. I think I got enough wax off of it where we're not going to get it down into the glass. All right, let's pour this thing into the glass. Man, it doesn't want to be too carbonated, so we're going to stand this thing up. I'll tell you the cheeses are sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, and general digestive. That's what right beer, right beer, beer advocate has on this. I'm not going to pour very much of a head, going straight down the center. Glass right of pint, Becker Nautic Tumbler Snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter. It says here it can be sold for a long period of time. You see, straight down the center from the beginning of the pour, absolutely no head. Could use a little bit more carbonation, in my opinion, but it had a nice hiss uh, when we popped the cap. Uh, no head. Zero. Nada. Uh, can't see a lot of light through the big bulb part, but I can see it right through the thin part. It's a nice, rich, red, mahogany color. Let's get it to the nose. Nice hints of some bourbon in there. Not very carbonated at all. I'm getting a little bit of bubbles streaming up from the uh, bottom of the glass here, but it uh, seems uh, to be a little undercarbonated for what I'm expecting, but it's a 13.5%er. So a lot of times you won't get a lot of carbonation on those beers of that magnitude. Especially in this style. Nice sweetness to the back end like a typical barley wine is going to have. It smells very wonderful, guys. Hints of caramel and toppy. Maybe some black molasses. Nice sweetness to the back end. And hints of bourbon. Smells very, very nice. Alright, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Kyle. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Wow. This is like a fine liquor. This is something you do sip on. It's like a cognac or something. Very, very nice. Wow. Very impressive. I am impressed with this. I was kind of unimpressed with the way it looked, but the taste. That's exceptional, guys. That is super well made. I can't think of a single reason why you could not sell this for many, many years. 5, 10, 15, even 20 years. And maybe they're putting the wax on it for those people that want to sell it for 15 or 20 years. It doesn't have a cork in it, guys. You don't lay these beers down unless they have a cork in them to keep the cork wet. So I don't, uh, I'm just not a fan of the wax. I, when I see a bottle of wax on I know it's an expensive beer to buy. And I know it's probably going to be a, a tasty beer, but I think it's a useless step to add more cost to the beer. Just like when you see uh, beers in boxes and stuff like Firestone Walker does. I, I, that packaging costs extra money. Do without it, put it on a shelf just with a bottle, not a box, and save us two, three dollars from them having to print those boxes up and stick those beers in boxes. It's a nice gift idea if you want to gift it and wrap it and, and give it to somebody, but other than that, I think it's kind of useless. Awesome. This is awesome, guys. Final beer of the evening for me. Very tasty beer. I would consider this a special occasion beer. 
it's not a huge 750 milliliter or anything like that. It's a little bit bigger than a 12 ounce, probably a 500 milliliter. Uh, something you could pour two or three, four people a little bit in a glass and let them taste it. Uh, let them savor it and say, well, yeah, I had that. I tasted that. Yeah, pretty good. But if you're trying to serve this kind of beer to somebody that drinks Budweiser, Miller, or Coors, yeah, it's going to knock their face down in the dirt and they're going to go, ah. So, you gotta, you got to serve it to somebody that's going to appreciate this style of beer. And I do have friends that will probably appreciate this kind of beer. People that do drink craft beers and stuff. But I also have some friends that drink Budweiser, Miller, and Coors that they, they probably wouldn't want anything to do with this beer. But, yeah, that's the way it is. Some people you just can't reach. I mean, as much as you try to help them out, no, 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 no. no. And a lot of people don't like dark beer. It's because it's a dark beer. They never tasted it or anything like that. Oh, Lord, I ain't drinking that motor oil looking stuff. That's not a beer. That's, uh, 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 they're just scared to death. So, uh, I think this is an outstanding beer right now. So, let me sip on this. It's right out of the fridge. Let her taste it. And we'll come back and do the final grade and the final chug on this. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little up here. Been sipping on it for a while. Went very well with the cigar that I was smoking outside on the deck. Uh, very well made beer, a very nice beer, 2015 edition, uh, retired beer if you will. Uh, don't think you're going to find this still sitting on a shelf, if you are you'll be very lucky. If you do, pick it up, uh, especially if you like uh, this style of beer, being a, uh, a barley wine, uh, they're calling it American barley wine, very very tasty. Uh, I am getting the bourbon notes, I am getting a rich roasted malt, I am getting uh, a little bit of uh, caramel, toffee, black molasses. Uh, the bourbon notes are very well done. I mean, I think they did this in, in the wood, Woodford Barrels. I think it had it written on here somewhere. I don't see it now. I thought I read that somewhere. Uh, very nice. Exceptionally well made beer, guys. This is a very well for a beer that was probably put in the bottle in March of 2015. Very nice. Very, very nice beer. A great final beer of the evening. Uh, a nice beer to share with some close friends, uh, other half, or whoever you decide to share it with. Very nice. Very, very nice. Not much carbonation on this beer. Still, like I said, it's like a fine liquor. Uh, something you sip on. You don't chug this. Uh, uh, you sip on this. Exceptionally well made. The alcohol is super well hidden. For a beer of this magnitude at 13.5%. And like I said, the, the newer versions are even a little bit more alcohol, 14.1% from what I've read. Not a fan of the wax, but it is what it is, guys. Can't change that. Final chunk. Outstanding, guys. It, it is a very tight spare. 9 out of 10 for me on this, guys. It is so close to a 10. Uh, you say, oh, it's a 10 beer, you're crazy. I'm, I would not argue with that. I'm going to give it a 99. I mean, it's right on the door. So it's kicking on the door to be a 10. I'm just not a fan of the wax. Uh, I think they're, they're, they're gouging us by doing that uh, and charging more for the beer. This beer is not going to be laid down. It's got a cap on it. It's got a plastic liner in it. You don't lay these style of beers or this this kind of beer in a, in a... If it had a cork in a cage, yeah, I could see that. Keep the cork wet like you do on, on a bottle of wine or something like that. But with a metal cap and a plastic liner, if it's capped right, it's not going to give any air into it. So putting wax on it is just another step 
to cause you more money. That's just my opinion, though, guys. That's just my opinion. There are people who say, oh, no, I, I like the wax. I like the wax. I, I don't like the wax. I think it's, uh, it's like tits on a bullhog. It's useless. So, but the, other than that, uh, I think it's an exceptionally well-made beer. Uh, 99 for me, one digit away from getting a 10. And like I said, if you think it's a 10, I would not argue with that. It is pretty damn tasty. It's uh, very well made. So, with that being said, let's run over to Beer Advocate. And they say 4.31. That is in their A- minus scale. I'm giving it a lot better number than those guys are. And our final check-in, we're run over to Untapped. They have it at 4.28, which is... Uh, this in, it's in their A scale, not quite to their A plus, uh, and I agree with them. Uh, I'm giving it a little bit better numbers than these guys are giving it. Uh, I think it's an A beer though, guys. It is definitely uh, a very well made beer, a very tasty beer, a very nice beer. So uh, if you've had this one from uh, uh, Smog City Brewing, they're out in uh, California, uh, and if uh, you've had the 2015 edition, which was what this one is, uh, which is a retired beer, uh, let me know what you think. I, I found this very enjoyable, very delightful for the final beer of the evening for me tonight. So uh, if you've had this one, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.